Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. So this reading is about some home truths about your person you think about. So I have premeditated on your cards, I've cleansed them and I've got them ready for you. So let's dive in and see what these home truths are about your person. Okay, so your first card is the Seven of Swords. So there is someone um, who may have theft or betrayed or tricked this person i feel like um they either tricked you or you tricked them or someone have tricked or betrayed this person and i feel like um someone is trying to get away with a certain situation and i feel that there's a lot of sneaky behavior someone is trying their best to get away with something here and i feel like if it's a secret, then they are willing to keep it as a secret due to shame, guilt, or even embarrassment here. And I feel like there's a lot of deception. Um, and I feel like whoever this person is, they they are actually going to be found out about it. And I feel like there is a lot of um, that feeling needing to face up to some consequences. Um, yeah, so that's the first card. I've done some clarifying cards here so this is regarding a love situation either in a romantic relationship or a family relationship um i feel like where there was a lot of love a good soul connection something happened um that was linked to some betrayal some some deep wounded betrayal and i feel like this have caused a lot of arguments and this person have gone away with this situation and i feel like there's a cause of a lot of secrets here that is caused by a lot of embarrassment and this is why it's keeping um lip sealed about this certain situation okay Reverse judgment is the next card. So there is a period of reflection that this person is going through. And I feel like this is to do with some self-evaluation. Um, there is a lot of contemplation going on here. And I feel like this is regarding some past mistakes or some regrets that this person has. And they want to clear any shame or any guilt that they have. And I feel like they doubt themselves a lot because there's a lot of negative um, messages that this person continually has every single day. The clarifying card here is regarding some form of having some hope and faith regarding a certain situation. And I feel like they want to feel loved again. They want to feel uplifted. There is root causes that needs to be sorted and solved and i feel like there is some significance um regarding this situation that is going to be coming to a form of a completion and i feel like this is re releasing something for something new to come in um so this could be behavior patterns they want to release um or they pass behaviors to make a fresh new start and i feel like with that there is to be a new version coming in something new something um wish fulfillment next is reverse hangman so this person is going through a phase where they feel very stuck very restricted to do with a person or regarding a certain situation and i feel like they want to move forward but they don't feel like it's the right time yet to move forward and i feel like they're ready they're going to be ready again to move forward to do something but this is regarding um relationships where there is contentment to a certain point but there is like needing that full trust in someone here and i'm also getting that this person wants to get into a relationship but they don't want to rush into a relationship here and I feel like there's a lot of decisions that need, need to be addressed here um, and this is regarding a um, situation where they want to do something when they're 100% ready, they don't want to be doing it like when they're just 50% or 25%, um, they want to make sure that they're 100% ready before they actually go 
and do what they need to do or go into this relationship. But there is to be um, a big leap forward coming in here and I feel like it is based on this decision that they've got to be making. Uh, but if they don't go doing a decision that they're supposed to do, then the universe or someone else is going to do it for them. So it is that sense of being 100% ready to do this situation, to decide on a decision before someone has to do it for them. And this is regarding to do with the reverse tower. So there was a personal transformation that this person went through. And I feel like this could have been to do with some upheaval, some, some chaos, something bad happened. And I feel like this brought a big spiritual awakening to this person. It brought a big realisation to them. And I feel like it made things very unsettling. Um, in all areas of this person's life and I feel like this have brought on a life purpose for this person and I feel like they clung on to someone or to a certain situation that wasn't good for them um, and this is why it caused the big tower moments to happen in their life um, but this person is actually going to be learning a good valuable life lesson from this situation Reverse Nine of Wands, there was a lot of struggles that this person did have and I feel like it was regarding challenges, setbacks, but also they tried keeping um, strong, they kept fighting for what they believed in and I feel like they, there was a lot of um, feelings of paranoia and defensiveness and feeling as if they're under attack. But also I'm feeling there's a lack of support here for this person that like they needed to be supported in a certain situation that they felt like they wasn't getting that support that they needed. Reverse high defense. So this person um, started doing things on their own. They felt like they didn't need anyone's approval. Like they just done things on their own terms. And I feel like they was learning to trust themselves again, learning to trust their own intuition, their own gut instincts here. And I feel like where they didn't need anyone's approval, they was ready to go on their own way to do things their own way and not by other people's ways. And I feel like they did go and trust their own inner voice and they was going through this phase of running on autopilot sort of thing. And I feel like it was some changes that was being made, but it was very slow changes that was coming in for them. And I felt like they may have gone and run into some authority figures here um, and having some form of conflict. Reverse Six of Cups. So with the Reverse Six of Cups, this is saying that this person clung on to something very negative and this was regarding something from the past and also they they wasn't focusing enough like on the present situation they was like stuck in the past and I feel like this was for some of them they wanted things like what they used to be or they wanted to feel like what they used to be like um and also there was opportunities that they had missed there was certain things that they missed out because they was thinking about things about the past and not focusing on their present moments um, and there was a lot of feelings about um, thinking uh, too much about their past but needing to learn from their mistakes from the past that they had made and I feel like they needed to try and forgive themselves but also needed to forgive others as well. Okay, I also felt that this person was going through a phase where they felt very, very closed off to people, especially the ones that they're very closest to them. And I'm getting the sense of, for some of them, is they close friends that they felt really closed off with their friends. And I feel like they were someone that they had um, bumped into and they spoke to, but they, they didn't want anyone else knowing about it. And I felt like they wanted to keep that close to their chest, so to speak. And they've been really, really quiet about it, um, just in case they felt like they was getting judged because of this person um, and getting back in talking terms. So that's another feeling that came across you. Reverse King of Cups then is the next one. So there is some um, emotions that is affecting this person that I can see. And there is due to a lot of upset 
this called a lot of drama here and I feel like with this something had triggered this person um, and this caused a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression and also um, bad thinking here as well and this is feelings that made this person bottle up quite a bit to the to make them feel a bit unpredictable about some certain outbursts that they may end up experiencing or lashing out at people so this is regarding someone that may have blackmailed this person or this person blackmailed someone else and I feel like there was um, emotional manipulation that was at play as well causing a lot of instability um, and this person needed to come out of that controlling energy to do, try and withdraw from that energy so they could get back themselves because I feel like there was a lot of being under attack and being controlled here with this person. Okay, the clarifying card was the Three of Cups. So this could have been regarding a third party situation um, or to do with some form of celebration that may have been involved with. But I'm getting there may have been some support here for this person because um, there they was a feeling of some amazing experiencing and things coming in but also a possible third part involvement someone may be lurking in the background that has some some involvement to do with the situation um, that's what I can see so far only for a small percentage of these people okay ace of pentacles so this person is going to be going um, into a new beginning. This could be regarding their wealth, their finances, their career, their job opportunities. But also I can see there is to be prosperity and abundance actually coming in for this person. There is some good manifestation coming in here and things are starting to amplify for this person. And I can see that there is a lot of positive energy coming about. Um, with this person as well. There's some good things that's coming back for this person. The clarification card is a death card. So something ended for something good and something new to come in for this person because there is a big transformation that I see here with this person and I see that there, is, there was a lot of changes um, around this person, things that they wanted to change. And this was to do with um, a love situation with the two of cups where there was some form of communication coming in um they could have been linked to a relationship or a partnership or even working with someone at work um so there was an ending for a new beginning coming in um the seven of wands so this person went through some challenges and i feel like they did really work hard to be uh, where they was and they put a lot of effort into something but I feel like there was some stress um, regarding they needed to fight for what they wanted and f needed to fight for where they stood and I feel like they had someone there to help defend them but they also needed to defend themselves in a certain situation and I feel like something came to them as a surprise like they just wasn't expecting something to happen out of the blue and I feel like they had to be very persistent about it they had to have a lot of courage but also they had a phase where they needed to confront someone that poses a threat to them so they needed to um, try and be brave and courageous to try and um, put things head on you know to sort certain situation out okay we have the page of cups there was a new idea that did come in for this person and I feel that this was regarding some form of opportunity that came up to the blue for this person. They were very open, very curious to what, um, what was coming in for them and they was to be discovering something new and with that they were very curious with it. They felt like anything and everything was possible for them at this time and I feel like they was experiencing something new but something very good and this could have been linked to a new job, a new hobby, a project, um, unexpected surprise, also could have been to do with a birth, it could have been a pregnancy, finding out about a relative or an engagement that come in, whatever it was, it was something that was really good 
and they was just happy with it at that at that moment because it came in that they wasn't expecting it and it came out of the blue and they was willing to accept it okay page of wands so they were very inclined to give anything and everything a go here and i feel like they was embracing this form of opportunity or relationship whatever it was they were starting afresh they want to start anew and i can see they're starting a new journey or project here also to see where it actually takes them see if it'll bring them happiness and contentment and joy there was also that sense of um testing out a few ideas testing out a few experiments here and um being very curious with it to see where they lead them and they felt very intrigued with it here as well and that's what i could see um and they bumped into someone that have walked their path before so someone they know they come in contact with and i feel like they may have ended up working with this person or trying to um come together with this person for um to experiment on something here reverse two of pentacles here so this person did struggle to maintain staying on top of a situation or on top of their bills and i feel like this was um where they needed to bring some structure in with their responsibilities their priorities their work commitments here and also i feel like if they were in a relationship they wasn't spending much time with their family here and this did cause quite a little bit of stir in the relationship you know like they may have been working long hours and not spending enough time with their loved ones and i feel like their loved ones just feel like enough is enough um and they feel like they needed to uh, put across to their person that they're going to be doing and focusing what is important to them you know try and reassess their priorities and their goals and their responsibilities you know is to see what they want to spend their energy and their time on um and that is the feeling that they had with this person okay knight of swords is the next one so with the knight of swords either this person or someone else um was on a big mission they can rush in and they wanted to take some form of action here they had their mindset on someone or set on something um and nothing was getting in their way with it nothing could stop them from doing or saying or taking action when they come in and i feel like there is to be um some success here but also having strength having determination to do whatever it was and i feel like it was some tough times that this person had but they put plan of action in there was a lot of preparation here as well and it is just the sense of going a long way with something here and that is what is to come in for them or that's what they're currently going through at the moment reverse king of swords so this is a person that um is either this person or someone else that misused their power they feel like they got a power of authority that they can take advantage of the people and i feel like with that they can um be very smart um very intelligent they tend to use the ego quite a lot you know they're very egoistical they can get away with anything or they seem or they act as if they can and i feel like there is a lot of um persuasion manipulation and charm that this person tend to use quite a lot here and i feel like they've been smart with that as well and there is a form of taking advantage but also punishing people here as well um there is a lot of taking chances on them situations because i can see things get into this person's head quite a lot um reverse king of pentacles then so this person i feel like they needed to look very closely to their relationship with their lover their family their finances and work commitments uh, i feel like also it could be linked to money with these constant money problems where they was using a lot of money then keeping it here that i can see like putting money before love um and a lot of things was impacting 
on certain relationships and certain areas of this person's life and I feel like they may also be a workaholic or they was a workaholic and they kept neglecting their loved ones they was not having that much time you know spare and I feel like there was a lot of obsessions here with this person and that could be regarding the money situation here as well right reverse four swords with this card this person needed some time to rest and recharge their batteries also i see that there's a lot of demanding um, and stressfulness here either this person's demanding things or another person's demanding stuff causing a lot of stress a lot of rift and i feel like there's a lot of ex exhaustion and also needing to detoxify but also get away from the negativity here and i feel like if this person didn't move from this negativity then they was going to be hurt whatever been said even if there was negativity there it could negatively affect others as well as around this person and i feel like it could have hurt their health it could have hurt their well-being and also the mental health that this could have caused a lot of problems for and this person needed to take some time out to rest and recuperate and try and get their thoughts together Six of Swords is the next one. So this person may have gone some personal or spiritual transition here. And I feel like either them or someone else left behind a relationship or a behavior pattern or a self-belief that they no longer serve them, that they couldn't see any success in. And I feel like this person did try to um, push past their own comfort zone to try and evolve, to try and make things work. And I feel like also where there was a lot of resistant change and transition because the belief system, um, they feel like something got forced upon them, um, making things not work out as it should have worked out. And I feel like with that, it caused a lot of unfinished business, unresolved conflict, and also feeling like this person needed to understand things before they could move forward with what they wanted to do with the future and i feel like if they could understand something or a certain situation or how someone felt then they could move forward for a better future and um there could have been some success there as well and some good clarity knight of wands so there was a spark of a new idea something came in that brought a lot of good energy here and i feel like there was cause of passion cause of motivation here there was some form of inspired action and i feel like something moved fast pretty quick um, and it came in leaps and bounds and this is where this person tried turning their visions what they wanted into reality there's also being very bold, being very courageous, being willing to venture into unknown territories and into unknown situations too. And I feel like this person didn't care if they ended up being in danger or not, or going into something and it, it not working out. You know, for them, it feels like they just committed to their vision, whatever they see a vision of, they got to do it. They just got to take action. They're the type to go in for something and then later on to think about it you know they, they just go straight into action and i feel like they they can find a lot of passion and enthusiasm and courage in a lot of things and also this person they can be really confident in themselves as well and seem like they can be really attractive as well so this person can be very action oriented so whatever they set their mind on they go forward and they will just go and do it last card is the reverse two of swords so this is about a difficult situation that this person had been in and i feel like they just didn't know what direction or decision to take because there's a lot of things going on because this person they was put in a very hard place and i feel like with that they made their decisions based on how they felt at the time and what they thought would be good at the time and with that, I feel like there was um, a certain situation that they came to um, re reached with either a lover, a friend, colleague, um, someone like that, or even a third party um, involvement here that I could see. Um, this is where 
this person, someone else could not see the situation from a different perspective. It was just like all on um, one form or something, not seeing it for all different directions and all different angles of the situation. Um, and that's all this person wanted to do is just be a peacemaker. They wanted to make their peace. And I feel like when they tried making their peace, it just made more arguments and hostileness and a lot of tension than what it should have been. You know, like it's like to me, I feel like they tried their best, but like even in certain situations, I feel like this person where they do try to make peace or try to do something right, they never, they never the one in the right. It's like someone else is always going to be the right one, and this person can't be the one that's in the right. So that is the frame mind that I get from this person that happened okay then Taurus so that is some home truths about your person that you think about if you enjoy my videos and if this resonates please like share subscribe and hit the notification bell I'll see you again next time